Kevin, what are you doing? Hey. Well, I've had, uh... Boy, it's amazing how tiny everything is in there. Uh, I've had some comments and questions here lately about contact points, you know, about high-frequency points. Guys are having trouble getting their their high-frequency start TIG welders to start. And I thought, cool, <laughs> there's a video. Come here, let me show you where they are. So this is the this is my uh, AHP Alpha TIG 200X, and I thought. Well, it's pretty handy. It's right on the cart. So let me pop the cover off. And that way I can show you guys, you know, approximately where it's going to be on your machine. Now, you know, the millers, the, you know, they're, they're going to be a little different. You know, some machines, they don't have points anymore. They've gone completely electronic. But, you know, on this machine at least, this is where they are. Okay, so this is way down inside. This is the high frequency board in here, all, all of this electronics. And these are the contact points right here. You know, these are the high frequency points right here. When you first push that trigger or step on that pedal, you'll get a little arc across here. That's when you you know, that's when the arc at the end of the tungsten starts. And then this portion drops out. You know, this thing goes dead, you know, electrically basically, until you um, until you need it again, or you know, as, it, as the machine is sensing that. You know, the arc is about to stop for some reason. You get too far away, you get too close, you know, this will come back into play again. So what happens is, as the arc, as the electricity jumps across those points, they get burned a little. Just like the points in the, in the old style ignition systems on cars, where the contact points would burn a little, you know, just from age and from wear. So what you'll find is, you know, if you all of a sudden find your, your your TIG welder is getting harder to start. You know, the high frequency is getting harder to start. You got to get closer to the metal, or you even have to touch it sometimes just to get that thing to start again. What happens? What's happened is the contact points have gotten dirty. So this is what you do. So what I've got here is just a little tiny square of uh, emery paper that I tore off a big sheet, and I put it in a pair of forceps just because you know, I got big fingers. And you can reach down in there, you know, right in between those contacts and just scrub it on one side, scrub it on the other side, give it a little, blow it out, get the dust out. And then you're going to come in with a feeler gauge, check with the manufacturer, check, you know, read, look in your, your owner's manual or whatever, make sure it's the right thickness for your machine. Okay. This one I'm going to set to uh, 29, 29 thousandths because that's about what it is. It's a little tight at 29, so I'm just going to scrub these a little, clean them up a little bit. This should slide in there just nice, and put her all back together, and she'll be fine. She'll start right up and, and, work, like, and work like she's supposed to. So just hold your tongue just right, and get down in there and just clean up that side of the points a little. Flip it over. clean up the other side. And then you just go in with the feeler gauge and check the gap on it. And it's just a nice snug little fit. You know, not, not too tight, not too loose. Doesn't rattle around or anything. So it should be just right. So let me just go ahead and put all this back together. You know, now, if you're going to do this on your machine, remember, they may not look like this, but they're probably going to be right in that area. And they'll just look like a pair of contact points. You know, either they're going to be fixed like this one, or some of them actually move to, to make them work. Can you just point to that area? You can use the feeler gauge or whatever, but just kind of... Yeah. Then, you know, this front portion of the machine right in here, you know, th this is probably what's called the high-frequency board. All of this electronics in here, maybe just this front section of it. And you'll just... You know, look around, you'll just see those little contacts in there somewhere. A lot of times I've found them on the, you know, the front left corner of the machine, you know, right behind the control panel. But they're going to be here. They're not going to be on the back of the machine someplace. They're going to be, you know, right up in this area somewhere, not down where the transformer is, you know, down on this part of the machine. No, they're going to be up in this area. So that's where you go to look for them. So I'm going to put this guy back together and... Go back to work. Hope that helps.
Okay, so as a normal rule, you want to turn the camera on first before you point at me and say, speak. You're just getting another smart aleck badge, you rise. <laughs>